More Sky takes the reader completely into the headspace it creates. It crafts an imagescape, saturates it with loss, and replays it so it becomes as unforgettable for the reader as it is for the speaker of the poems. The main themes are family, mental health, hereditary violence, and working class masculinity. More Sky questions what it means to grieve someone who still exists, how to live with the non-linear degrees of loss caused by addiction and alcoholism. We encounter the slow, drawn-out loss of the speaker's father. There are different levels of his presence throughout the text, a sense of incremental loss occurring like a tide coming in and out. In the poem, when he waits at the bar, my father's brain is miles above his pint. A simile compares his brain to a swimming pool being lowered onto the roof of a skyscraper. There is disconnect both between the father and himself, and the father and the speaker. The short lines run into each other without punctuation, suggestive of a mind or a self slipping through the lines. More Sky is divided into two sections. The variety in form of the first half of the book shows the various manifestations of grief. Some of the poems are sparse, some are overwhelming, comprised entirely of questions blocked together. In the second section, Sky Dock, each poem begins with the line, once upon a time when suicide was. The childlike once upon a time jars with the violent intrusion of suicide, evidencing a childhood haunted by domestic violence and the slow erosion of a father's presence. Suicide is repeated so often, linked with so many images, that it takes on a numbing effect and becomes hard to pin down. Its repetition becomes a presence taken as a given, but never fully understood. Repetition is a key technique in this volume, which revolves around repeated image and soundscapes, like a headspace calling back again and again. Trauma is almost always in view, and the poems act like a camera, refocusing from different angles. Images of trainers, skyscrapers, TV screens, a shotgun, a pub, sunglasses populate these poems. A memorable recurring motif is of skyscrapers and sky. Early on in the collection, Carrick Varty writes, sometimes I drink and lie and tell strangers in pub gardens that my father is being built, that he's coming back from the ground. Later on in the collection, he writes, all of a sudden it's gone. There's sky where that building used to be and you're a mess with your child's bike helmet. The images speak across poems, making the collection feel cohesive and giving it a powerful depth of focus. The collection shows how trauma disrupts the linearity of time and self. The speaker's father has decided, is deciding, will decide, in a backward sequence showing how he is repeatedly pulled back to relive the trauma. The imagery operates as memories do, non-linear, unexpected and inescapable. One thing I love about the collection is its ability to exteriorise complex and interior emotions and themes. The book, based on a premise of realism, has unexpected moments of surrealism that feel both familiar and unsettling. In one poem, suicide was a forest I planted, and instead of trees grew every person I ever hurt, packed into a school hall on a Tuesday. Carrick Varty also pushes the reader to project their own interiorities onto external images. In one poem, the speaker is asked to project their own lives and pains onto the image of the water. What was your water's first thought this morning? What was the last thing it drowned? More Sky is deeply aware of the complexities of family. Trauma binds the family together. Sadness is likened to a tree's collection of year rings hinting at generational trauma rooted in the past, and how sadness is something that grows with the speaker. One of the most striking metaphors is in Parks, which imagines a pigeon in a public park as the father's mind back for a weekend. The speaker believes the pigeon is his father's mind because no one else has spotted it, knowing that if I know our father, the pigeon will be gone by morning. This poem is quietly heartbreaking in its acceptance of loss whilst holding on to love. The poems build on each other, layering so many meanings on loss that it becomes almost unbearable. But they are not without moments of light, of surfacing for air. 
More sky is on edge, but it constantly pushes the edge it stands on, finding new ways to breathe in a reality haunted by trauma, a reality in which love still exists.